what's up? This is your girl Marie Hart, and I'm sitting here with Philip Wade, one of the most sought-after men online right now. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing quite well. You look nice. Anyway, we got a couple of questions for you. A lot of people been writing in. How does it feel to be the most sought-after man on the internet? It feels weird, a little bit awkward. Uh, I'm not used to this attention that I'm getting at home. You know, I'm just taking it day by day. I'm taking it in stride. I'm not paying too much attention, trying to get sucked into, you know, what everybody's trying to offer. But uh, it feels it feels weird because I've been this way all my life. You know, right. I've been this weird all my, all my I've been this way all my life. I've been this weird all my life. It's like I had the only child syndrome. So uh -huh. I act out in certain ways, express myself in certain ways. And we appreciate it. Right. And people being real receptive to us. Right. Okay. So you being It feels good to be recognized for being myself. Hopefully I can get somebody, inspire somebody else to, you know, step outside of the box and be themselves and not just adapt to whatever the norm is. Right. You know, because people get complacent or people uh, are fear, fearful of being themselves, fearful of being, they, uh, they want to be accepted. Right. So for me to go out and have my hair the way it is and the wear fully right, the, fully, <laughs> the fully cut as they call it. They call it fully cut, and, you know, to wear my hair regardless of what people say about it and say I look like Kuta Kente, Frederick Douglass, or Kanye, you know, Andre 1000. It's like whatever. Okay, so if you're watching this video, I assume you've seen his video. You got most of your buzz, or a lot of your buzz, from the Trey Songz impersonation and from the BMF gospel remix, the Flex on the Devil. Um, <laughs> what was the process of putting those videos together and after they were up, you know, did you know, what did, how, how, was, how did it feel when they blew up and did you know they were going to get that big? I had no idea, like me and my friends, uh, Steven, SBB2, uh, David Butler, we've been doing these videos forever, so this is Willie how we, Wade. Willie Wade, you know, <laughs> you know the, my, my, uh, my alter ego, <laughs> and we've been doing these videos forever, so uh, when we did it, it was totally like, let's just make a video, it was totally random, it wasn't like, man, let's make some money, man, you know what I'm saying, let's get them, let's make a video, Trey songs, put them in a video, it wasn't nothing like that, so we just did it randomly, and it just came about, it was like 2 o'clock in the morning, I had to be at work at 7, I was getting ready to leave, and it happened. As I was on the way out the door, so it was dope. It was just, you know, things are meant to happen when they happen. Right, right. Okay, you said um, SB2.com. Who is that and what is that? And are they behind these videos or how are you working together? I know you guys are all working towards one cause, but what, what is it? Uh, Steven uh, is behind, I won't say his full name. But <laughs> <laughs> you know, he might have some student loans or some stuff like that. We don't want to put him SPB2, out there like that. SPB2. Those are his initials, that's his business, that's his brand, that's his company. He's a photographer, videographer, and um, you know, he, he provides the, the visual, he provides the visual taste and uh, the glaze on the donut, if you will, <laughs> for, <laughs> for the videos. And, the, gravy know, the, the, yeah, the, the gravy on the The gravy on, on the, the pork chops, <laughs> on the potatoes, if you will. So um, that's his job, and you know, we combine, we use each other, you know difference between using and misusing True. but we use each other's gifts and talents to you know to reach our common goals and our individual to better goals yourself. to better ourselves right. so, so. okay and i know um from what i know all of you guys went to prairie view a and correct yes okay so you attended that school what, what was your major my major was computer engineering technology <laughs> are you doing anything with that major <laughs> nothing they asked me to help with math at school and i tell them my eye <laughs> Everybody that y'all see that I've worked with thus far, that y'all give props to, that y'all say that y'all love, and 
you know, following on Twitter, they're all coming out of PV. PV is including? just including Juan. <laughs> Right here, everybody, literally everybody right. that I work with come out of Prairie. So big up to Prairie View and University, all our graduates, Prairie View produces productive people. All right, I'm off that high horse. <laughs> but yeah, uh, went to Prairie View, ended up moving to Houston, stayed where the money was, stayed where my family was. The networking was the networking was beautiful. I would be dumb to move anywhere else. You know? right. So you are a Renaissance man yourself. What all do you do? Oh, I love to do any and everything concerning the arts, you know. To drawing, to dancing, to poetry, to you name it, singing, to writing music. I love to produce and I love to do it all. So, you know, it's a, although it's a thin line that you play when you're trying to be, when you're good at a lot of things, but great right. at nothing, but there are a few select people who are blessed to be, you know, pretty good at some things and accepted by many for what they do. And people call them great. You know, I don't deem myself as great. You know, I try to keep a humble spirit. But, you know, people are being very receptive to me being quote unquote scatterbrained and showing them so much right. of what I have to offer. So it's good. Okay, I know we talked about people being very receptive, but there are a lot of haters out there. There are a lot of people on the internet that sit behind their desk, sit behind their computer and write negative things. And, you know, it, it's not very helpful. It's not helpful to them or to you. How do you feel about those people? Do you have anything to say to those people? Well, there are, there are pros and cons to everything. And I think the hate is a beautiful thing. It helps you, especially when it's this long distance hate because it's like a world star. They right. chop you up, you have tough skin, you soak it up, and you use that. I use that as fuel. I love it. If, if nobody's hating on you, then you're not doing something, you're not, right. You're not doing something right. You know, right. Jesus, Jesus was hated on. So <laughs> if I don't get hated on, who am I? You know, right. you know what I'm saying? So it's all down that line. Not the hate, I don't mind. Okay, so do you think you'll ever put out an album? Yes. <laughs> Definitely. Can I say the date? Yes. <laughs> December the 7th. <laughs> you know, my album, it will be dropping. I will have some, a plethora of tracks that will. Yes. I love that word. Say one more time. Plethora. Plethora. Are you just trying to see my, uh, oh, just, my luggage? <laughs> Preserve the sexy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. But yeah, I will have a plethora of tracks. Uh, coming out, you know, with some of my Prairie View family and as producers, and um, I just wanna, I just wanna open myself up and expose myself so people can see who I really am. You know, aside from me being silly, everything is tied all in together. So. Right. So you're not always. Silly. No. Most of the time. <laughs> no, but there's comedy in everything. Right. You know. So um, I just take that in stride. I keep that in mind. Okay. Well, um, I know. Look at her, smile. <laughs>